Good morning. This is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church in Detroit. We're continuing our series of daily morning meditations where we generally look at one or another lessons that are assigned for morning or evening prayer, what is known as the daily office lectionary. Today, Thursday. Uh, let's take a look at the lesson that's assigned for evening prayer from St. Matthew's Gospel. Uh, we haven't looked at Matthew for a couple of days, and we've moved all the way up to chapter number 21 uh, in what we would know as the readings for Palm Sunday. So Matthew 21, beginning at verse number 1. And when they drew nigh unto Jerusalem, and were come to Bethphage, to the Mount of Olives, then sent Jesus two disciples, saying unto them, Go into the village over against you, and straightway you shall find an ass tied in a colt with her. Loose them, and bring them unto me. And if any man say aught unto you, he shall say, The Lord hath need of them, and straightway he will send them. All this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet, saying, Tell ye the daughter of Zion, Behold, thy king cometh unto thee, meek, and sitting upon an ass, and on the colt, the foal of an ass. And the disciples went and did as Jesus commanded them. And he brought the ass and the colt, and put on them their clothes, and set them therein, and a great multitude spread their garments in the way, and others cut down branches from the trees and strawed them in the way. And the multitudes that went before and that followed cried, saying, Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And when he was come into Jerusalem, all the city was moved, saying, Who is this? And the multitude said, This is Jesus, the prophet of Nazareth of Galilee. And Jesus went into the temple of God and cast out all them that sold and bought in the temple and overthrew the tables of the money changers and the seats of them that sold doves and said unto them, It is written, My house shall be called the house of prayer, but ye have made it a den of thieves. And the blind and the lame came to him in the temple and he healed them. And when the chief priests and the scribes saw the wonderful things that he did and the children crying in the temple and saying, Hosanna to the son of David, they were sore displeased and said unto him, Hearest thou what these say? And Jesus saith unto them, Yea, have ye never read out of the mouths of babes and sucklings? Thou hast perfected praise. Okay, so, you know, usually on Palm Sunday, we preach a little bit about the actual the story of his entrance into Jerusalem uh, and the riding on the donkey and of course the strawing of the branches those are the palms uh, and the Hosanna to the son of David uh, and so and then we can oftentimes we'll contrast that to what happens a few days later because on the same service on Palm Sunday we read the passion gospel uh, of Jesus's betrayal and his arrest and his crucifixion uh, and so we talk a little bit about his entry on Palm Sunday to Hosanna and then the crucify him crucify him of the crowds just a few days later. Um, but it's interesting because then after he enters the city, he overturns the table of the money changers because they've, they've lost sight of what the, the temple is about. Uh, and so, of course, that causes a big scandal. Uh, and then uh, he then goes on to say that the chief priests and the scribes, when they saw the wonderful things that he did and the children crying in the temple and saying, Hosanna, they were displeased, right? They should be overjoyed that Jesus is, is, that the Messiah may be coming. And they've seen all the wonderful things that he's done. They've seen the healings that it just talks about even here. He heals people. And they're upset about it, right? They're losing income because the rent for the money changers and the tables. They're upset that, that their way of life may be turned upside down, just like those tables were, that the religious establishment may in fact be overturned. Uh, and, and more so, we do hear otherwise, other places in the gospel stories, that they were upset that the Romans would intervene uh, because they'd be afraid that Jesus would be declared a king. And, uh, and yet Jesus says, look, haven't you ever heard of the mouths of babes and suckling thou hast perfected praise? That these children are spot on. Their declaration is 100% true. He is the gift, the Messiah, the fulfillment of God's promise to send one in the line of David to be king of kings and lord of lords. So, Today's Thursday. Uh, I am in Philadelphia today. I've, I've recorded this ahead of time because of my trip. Uh, and so uh, please do keep me in your prayers as I am in Philadelphia for a couple of days. Uh, and uh, and of course, I will be praying for you. No public worship at St. John's the next couple of days. Uh, but of course, we will keep up in our prayers one for another. And may your Thursday be a day that is full of blessings.